People think of the railroad as being a, an old, 100-year-old, established, stodgy company, but we're in business to move our products for our shippers effectively and efficiently and as, as well as we possibly can do that. The, you know, the idea of solidifying bitumen was kicked around for quite a while, something around the office, and it was uh, a bit of a dream. Could this actually be done? Canapux really brings in another option for transportive bitumen. Um, you have pipeline transportive diluted bitumen, and that will continue. What Canapux does is it brings another option to the mix where you can solidify the product. The idea behind this is you want to solidify uh, the heavy crude oil to be able to move it in a traditional bulk supply chain, like we would move grain or coal or pet coke. To do that, we're going to put plastic or polymer into uh, the heavy crude oil. That'll solidify it, makes it a solid, slightly elastic, but very sticky. That product then goes and gets encased in a packaging of polymer, rather, that allows it to handle very large forces and not deform irreversibly, at least, at the bottom. You know, transporting something in, in this manner gives you, I think, a lot of safety uh, and a lot of environmental reduction or impact reduction. Reversing the solidification, we found that it doesn't significantly impact the quality of the bitumen. It's still um, in a, a usable form that a refiner would accept. This was very important for us to be able to come up with a product that would not make refineries nervous. The fact that the product is solidified changes what would happen in case of a release. So with a liquid release, you have a dispersion of the liquid, whereas in the case of solid, it stays as a solid material. It's much easier to remove from the environment should there be a release in the environment. A spill of liquid hydrocarbon has the effects that we have all seen in the media. So toxicity uh, to living creatures, the, the, the covering, uh, the adherence of the product to uh, wildlife, for example. Uh, when I think about Canabox in comparison, there are a lot of things that are uh, avoided by the, the, uh, the actual structure and composition of the product. I love the name Canabox, but it, it kind of symbolizes what we're doing as well. It means uh, it's a way we're moving product and we're finding new market access for Canada's resources. This site in particular was a really good location because it had access to rail, had access to road, it is close proximity to the design folks and it's close to the engineering operations where we can spot the cars and we can test it and it helps us with our pilot project once we uh, get the pucks made and we start bringing them in and bringing them out. It's exciting to tell people about that we're working on a project like this and it can open up markets for bitumen, it can help Alberta, and I think a lot of people are really interested in it. Well, we need to get through the pilot. We need to be able to figure out that and demonstrate to people we can do this at high volume and high speed. And then from there, it's up to the industry to adopt the product, and uh, we'll be standing by to move as many carloads as we possibly can.